Welcome to how to create your own search engine in Excel. And that is how it's going to work. In order to create your own search engine, you need to use five different functions. The search, rank, countif, vlookup, and if errors within all of them. So we're going to start with the search function. And we're going to place it here. We're going to go equals search. We're going to find Clara. We're going to make that a permanent reference within M10. And our start number is going to be 1. And then we're going to drag that formula down. And let's put something a little bit simpler, like A. So what happens when you put A is that the value that it returns is the placement within this, within this string of that character. So A is located in the sixth place, and therefore we have number six come up. So that is going to give us what we call our relevancy. So because Andrew is a far more relevant word than Portia, Andrew would come up first. So we have a number one there. So unfortunately, with these values, we're going to have to get rid of that. So we're going to use if error, like so, and then drag the formula down, like that. The next step in order to create your own search is to rank that relevancy. So we've already decided that the search brings relevancy. So the next column over, we're going to use a rank function. So we're going to go equals rank. And our rank will be this number. And the reference will be L10 through L1000. My data set goes up to 1000. We're going to use permanent references on that range. And our order is going to be ascending. And the reason we're using ascending versus descending is the default is because we want to rank lower values in a higher ranking. And higher ranking would be a lower number as well. So, take that formula down. And as you can see, we have now ranked our relevance. Unfortunately, ranking by itself is a problem because when you rank values that are the same, as you'll notice, a lot of these values on the search function came up as the same the rank gives it the same value as well. So in order to solve that problem, we have to add in a COUNTIF function. And how we do that is we go plus COUNTIF, and our range is going to be L9 through L9. And we're going to make one L9 a permanent reference. and our criteria is going to be L10. So what that's doing is looking for this value within the cells before it, and if it finds it, it's going to add one. So that way we have, for each found duplicate value, we're going to add one. And we're going to close that off, and that should fix the error. So you see how that says 322 and that says 322 because they're both ranking 3. I'm going to drop that down. It's going to say 322 and 323. So it's simply going to keep everything in consecutive order like we need. So now we're going to get rid of the errors by adding if error value. And our value if error is going to be null and drag that down, and that is a true rank of these values. The next step is to add our lookup. So we have these numbers here, and we'll be looking up these values. I put 1 through 50. You can use whatever you'd like in order to find the rankings on these. So I'll show you how we do that. Equals VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is 1 right here. Our table array is between here and I'll just type that in. And 1,000. 
our column index number is 3, and our lookup, our range lookup is false, so it has to be exact. And then we're going to add if errors, because I hate Excel errors. If error null, I'm going to drag that down. And we have our search. So if I type in AN, all ANs come up. Or if I type in AND, RE, all of those come up. Or how about AL, Alfonso, or even Dan. Let's just see what comes up. So yeah, there you have your search. And that is kind of a cool trick. In our next video, I'll show you how to switch between columns. As you can see, our data going, so we're going to be switching between first and last, company, address, city, county, state, and the others. So I'll show you exactly how to do that, and that'll be the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe. Thanks.